Welcome to this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going through all the tools and all the features and everything in Photoshop. And today we're up to the pencil tool, which you can find here underneath the brush tool. Note the hotkey is the letter B. All right, so the pencil tool, it's basically just like the brush tool. Just it's one pixel and it's very, very hard edged. You can't apply any softening like you would a brush. Like if you right click and change hardness down to 0%, it's still just a hard edged brush. It doesn't respect that. You can, however, increase the size, which basically makes it like a larger hard-edged brush. Um, oh, and see how it just switched to white? Well, that that was that, that's going to be the next thing I talk about. Uh, you can change blend mode and opacity. Yeah, we get that. Um, auto erase. Uh, I'm not really sure what you would use this feature for, but basically, well, as you can see, it draws the background color over foreground colors. Um, so what it does is, right now my foreground color is black, my background color is white. If I click out here and draw, it's black, which is my foreground color. However, once I've placed the foreground color, if I click and paint on top of that, it makes it white. Now, sadly, it doesn't automatically revert back to the foreground color when you exit, like, current foreground color, right? So I got off the black, but it still remains the white. And the same thing goes for if I'm painting black out here. If I cross into the current black, it stays black. Um, and then black out the other end. It only paints that color when you're actually on top of previously painted areas. And you can see you can just keep stacking the effects one on top of another, uh, well, just like that. So there are, you have the auto erase uh, functionality. I'm not really sure uh, what you would use it for. Um, and that kind of goes for the whole pencil tool. It, the pencil tool, I guess, can be very, very useful for very, very minute detail oriented pixel artwork. Uh, it's really great for that kind of stuff. Maybe creating a great favicon, uh, like the 16 by 16, but I know a lot of favicons are going a little bit larger than that for retina displays and things like that. Um, but the pixel, or I'm sorry, the, the pencil tool in Photoshop, it's just, a, I guess, a nice little pixel by pixel editing tool. You're not really going to use it for much of anything other than that. So for the pencil tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodds in Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.